Sometimes it can be really easy, and I'd almost say a little bit lazy, to make certain comparisons because it just makes sense to you, right? Like, you'll have this player play this position. There are a couple of things that he does. Hey, it reminds me of this guy, so that's the NFL comparison for him. Kalaja Kansi, to me, is potentially an example of that in the respect that they're going to look at a short, short-armed, smaller, interior pass rusher that played at Pittsburgh, and you're going to get the inevitable Aaron Donald comparisons. You know it's happening. It has been happening. And even if it's not people saying he, Kalijah Kansi is going to be Aaron Donald at the next level, what they're saying is like there are similarities. And I'm not saying they're not. But let's get real here. I like Kalijah Kansi. You know, I was almost surprised I didn't like him a little more. But Aaron Donald is a prospect. He is not. He is not. And you say, well, who are you to say that? Like, nine years ago, I had Khalil Mack and, and Aaron Donald as, like, I think top four talents in the 2014 draft class and had both of them rated ahead of Jadavion Clowney. So when it comes to Aaron Donald as a prospect, like, I pounded the table for this dude. I was huge on this dude. So I'm very familiar with what he was like as a prospect coming out of Pittsburgh. Kalijah Kansi is not that. He is certainly intriguing. There are things about him that are exciting, but there are some like real drawbacks and concerns and teams have got to weigh these. But I don't know that it's ultimately going to stop him from being a first round pick, but some of those physical limitations might stop him from where he really should be drafted in this year's class. Um, I look at Cansey on film. He's got great initial quickness. He can hit the gap with a hurry, with alacrity. Plays with great balance and leverage due to his low center of gravity. So basically the anti-Jalen Carter. Whereas Jalen Carter can get a little too upright sometimes and get off balance on the other wet end and get put on his fucking belly and on his ass a lot. Kalijah Kansi, on the other hand, plays with great balance, has really good leverage, um, plays with tenacity and effort at all times, which also Jalen Carter does not. He does a great job of getting an edge on interior blockers. Not to the level like Jalen Carter can. And I don't want to make this just a comparison between the two, but I'm just using this as an illustration. Kansi's also got really good agility and change of direction skills for a guy of his size. And you say, well, he's not that big. He's still like six foot one, 285-ish pounds. He's not a he's not a freaking dwarf or anything like that. He's still a really big man, and he could really move for a guy of that size. I do also like about him that he's got some secondary pass rush moves. His hand fight is pretty solid. He's tenacious, plays with a pretty high motor as a pass rusher. He can put some different moves together. So even if somebody's an interior lineman is able to get into his torso, into his shoulders, his upper body, with their hands, with their initial punch, like they have to sustain it, which could be a problem against Kansi due to his balance, low center of gravity, that kind of explosive power and burst that he has as a bull rusher. Like he's a guy that you'd be surprised at his size that he could bull rush like he can. Um, he also has great hand usage. He's able to piece together, as I just mentioned a moment ago, multiple shots. You know, here's a guy that fires with his hands pretty quickly. He's a good you know, kind of chicken fighter, if you will. So lots of things on film with Cansey that excited me. The concerns, though, are certainly valid and legitimate concerns. He's on the very small side for an interior lineman. And you say, well, so was Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald's arms were a couple inches longer. And you look at them physically. Aaron Donald, even at Pittsburgh, kind of looked like a Greek freaking god. Cansey's a little pudgy, a little chunky, not quite the same body type. You get what I'm saying? So just from a sheer like physical standpoint, physical presence, they're not the same. With Cansey's arms being shorter, he does have challenges with guards being able to get into his upper body. And that's going to be 
a challenge or problem for him. He's going to have to figure out ways to work around that. He'll get stood up and engulfed at times, um, especially in the running game. Like he can have trouble, you know, getting and setting an anchor. He can get moved around a little bit, which is going to lead to some questions about is he more of a situational player, a situational interior pass rusher, than he is a true three down interior lineman? They're fair questions, right? They absolutely are. You know, because there's a reason that you don't have a bunch of six foot, 280 pound guys playing inside at the NFL level nowadays. You just don't. So in a lot of cases, you would look at this from a traditional standpoint and say, well, Kansi feels more like a round three or round four type of talent. But I would push back on that for a couple of reasons. Now I look back and say, like, what makes him not be like a Tank McBride or something like that? Um, but here's the deal. When we talk about base defenses for NFL teams, it's kind of overrated because most cases, most teams base defense 60 to 65% of the time is probably some version of a nickel defense, right? Five defensive backs on the field. So already your looks are different, whether you're running a 4-2-5 or a 3-3-5, three, three, you know, whatever the case might be. Or even, you know, some cases in passing situations, teams are running a lot of dying now, right? So it doesn't matter as much. And you look at how many teams that have like multiple pass rushers and some that are even more traditional like defensive ends and edge rushers that they will flip inside on passing downs. And you find at the NFL level where the linemen or interior linemen are bigger and stronger, they also can have some struggles and challenges with like explosive interior quickness, right? Um, so, to me, a guy like Cansey in the modern NFL has more argument behind him to say he can be a first-round pick, even with the smaller size and the shorter arms, even with some questions about you know his ability to hold up as a physical presence on the interior against the run, just because of the nature of the NFL game. Again, I want to be absolutely clear. He is not Aaron Donald as a prospect. Aaron Donald had longer arms. Aaron Donald was stronger. Aaron Donald, even more explosive. Aaron Donald, even more explosive in terms of getting into the backfield and disrupting plays, both the passing game and the running game. He had a, a wider variety of pass rush moves. You know, he probably didn't play as sizzling in terms of his motor as Cansey does. That's probably the one edge that Cansey has on him, but that's about it. So Cansey's good. I would agree with that. I think he's a first-round pick. I compared him to Geno Atkins because I was trying to think of another kind of undersized defensive tackle, but the could, guy that could get after the quarterback. You know, and that was who I thought of a bit was Geno Atkins. As I said, the Donald comparison is lazy and really doesn't fit as much as people might be trying to shoehorn it in. I like Kalijah Cansey, and I think if you're a team that's picking you know, from probably pick 19 or 20 on through 31 in this draft. Like, you got to take a really strong look at this guy because if you're a team that needs another interior presence, a guy that needs some pass rush, especially from the interior, Cansey come, can come into a good team and contribute and help put a team over the hump and make a difference. So, you know, you're thinking about teams like Dallas and so forth, maybe a team like Buffalo. Those types of teams, Cincinnati, right? Kansas City, you know, those are the types of teams you sit there and say, you know, they should strongly consider a guy like this. And I would totally agree with them.